as we breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, we want to begin to make our breaths deeper, longer. So let's all take a big exhale right now. And as you inhale, you want to inhale slowly for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And right when we're full, we want to take one more sip. We always want to enhance and increase our breathing capacity. So now we're going to slowly exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And take one more sip out. If you haven't already, let's go ahead and we place our hands on our belly. So our index finger and second finger are about at the navel, little fingers reaching down towards that pelvic bowl. Just relaxing the elbows outward. So release the stress in your wrist and relax the elbows outward. And now we want to exhale and push all that air out from the belly. And now as we inhale slowly, imagine the pathway of air going in the mouth, down through the throat, past the lungs, past that diaphragm, and deep into that belly. All right, this is our big Buddha butt, belly breathing. Good. Now as we exhale, we push that air out from that belly, going upward, past the lungs, out through the throat. And as we exhale, that hearty exhale can be a good release. So when we breathe in this fashion, continue to breathe like that, we tell our body we're almost in fourth level sleep mode. That's where a lot of healing can happen. Set the stage for better blood, blood flow. Come to the center now and reach out fingertips and toes. And when you do this, think about the spine, the spacing between each vertebrae of the spine. Now we want to bring both knees up as if you were sitting in a chair that was laying on the ground. We're going to put our hands right on the kneecaps. And from here, we're going to just pull around in some leg circles. So we're going to go clockwise and counterclockwise. So again, if your hips feel tight, that's OK. Just acknowledge how your body feels. And then let's go in the other direction. Let's come to the center now and extend out fingertips and toes, really lengthening. Take a big inhale, breathe into the spine. We're going to now take our palms, put them flat on the mat. Bend the left knee up towards the ceiling, the foot is flat. I'm going to point that right toe towards the ceiling. Just do a couple ankle rolls. In the winter when we're navigating on the ice, our ankles get kind of tight, our feet get tight. We don't even realize it until we're sore. So let's just roll around. And now we're going to take that right ankle and cross over the left knee. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, I want you to roll up, placing your lower back into the mat. You can go ahead and take your left hand, put it under your lower back. Make sure that lower back is released into the mat. Take both hands now, thread through eye of the needle. One goes in between the legs, one on the outside of that left thigh. Interlock all fingers and the thumbs, and now I want to pull on that left thigh. You can push out with that right elbow on the inner right thigh, and you feel a tremendous stretch from that right knee going down the back of the thigh and across, stretching for that piriformis muscle. Good. Let's lengthen down now, putting your head on the mat and extending out fingertips and toes, stretching that spine even more. Take a big exhale. Placing both palms on the mat, right by your hips. Let's go ahead then and bend the other knee up. So you wanna bend that right knee up towards the ceiling, left toe towards the ceiling, and a couple of circles with that ankle. Take that left ankle, cross over the right knee. Again, we want to roll up, placing that lower back into the mat, pushing that belly button towards the spine, releasing that back, 
thread, eye of the needle, interlock the fingers, and then put a little bit of pressure on that right thigh as you come inward. Take a big exhale. Release it to the posture. Extend out fingertips and toes. Now we're gonna leave our left arm extended outward. Bring our knees into our chest and wrap the right arm around. Go ahead and rock over into the left side, placing your ear gently into that bicep. Place your right hand in front of you and push yourself up to a seated position facing front. Everybody should have one block, put it at the top of your mat. Up, hands extend up into the chi. Crossing the thumbs. Take a big inhale as you exhale, bring the arms to the side. Go ahead, bending the elbows, hold on to the shoulders loosely. We're going to do a couple of circles, just opening up those shoulders. Again, if they're tight, just acknowledge and let go. Then we'll bring our arms out to the sides. We want to cross our right over our left. Really reach, reach, reach for those shoulder blades. Drop the elbows down, lift up the chin. Feel tremendous stretching in the shoulders and across the back. Take a big exhale. Inhale, reach the arms out, left under right, and hold on to those shoulder blades. Drop the elbows down, tremendous stretching in those shoulders. Take a big exhale. Let's come around on all fours facing front. I like to be sideways so that you can see my spine if you're in doubt. So we come, want to come into a flat back. Not on all fours, we want to move our hands upwards so that the wrists are a little in front of the shoulders. This creates a little too much stress. And first we'll start by activating those nerve muscles in the feet. So go ahead and open up those toes to the ceiling and curl the toes under, pushing them towards the knees as hard as you can. So we feel how tight that fascia muscle is right on the arch of the foot. So really push through, releasing the head downward, and then open up those toes to the ceiling, put the right arch under the left, and we're gonna push back and spider the hands upward into child's pose. We sit back on the heels, stretch the top of the feet, Come up on all fours again, open up those toes to the ceiling, and this time left arch under right, as we sit back and reach forward, nose towards the mat. Stretch long through the neck, top of the head. Let's push up into all fours again. Now we take the top of our feet onto the mat, and our back is in that tabletop position. So we wanna push those abdominal muscles inward and that navel inward as we take an exhale. As you inhale, feel that breath across the chest. And as you exhale now, lift up through the lower back, tucking the tailbone under, looking at your navel in a rounded cat. As you inhale, the navel comes down, the head and the tailbone come up. Close your mouth, stretch through the neck muscles. Look the eyeballs to the ceiling. Stick that tailbone out. As you exhale, come into cat, and inhale into cow. Just do this two more times. And come to the center in that flat back. From here, we want to wag the tail side to side. So we're drawing a U with our hips as we wag the tail. Kind of like a dog wags the tail. And then we want to look over at that tail, and look over at the tail, and look over at the tail. Good. Just kind of loosening up those hips. And then we come to the center and take a big exhale. Now we're going to wag the table, tail over to the right and to the left, over to the right. And then weave your hips towards the left. We're going to then bring that right knee up about a foot, and we're sliding that right foot, left foot back as we come down to the forearms. Take a big exhale and release. Come on 
onto all fours. We're going to wag that tail again. This time we're going to wag over to the right. And the left knee comes forward. We slide the top of that right foot back. Remember, this is for revitalizing the sore, tired leg. It's also for stretching sciatica. I'm going to come up on all fours. When you're doing that at home, you want to do it at least three times. So let's do it two more times, rocking side to side. I'm going to come up on all fours now. I'm going to curl those toes under again. From here, we gently push into the mat with our palms as we come up into downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, we're going to drop the heels one at a time, letting the hips wag side to side, and stretching through that hamstring. Go ahead now and come up tall into downward dog. Bend the knees in, pull the navel in into jackrabbit, and extend up through those hips and release the head downward. Go ahead and bend the knees again, pull that navel in, and extend up. Take an exhale. As you inhale, pull that navel in, come down into jackrabbit, bending the knees, and extend up into downward dog. From downward dog, we're going to begin to walk in. Go ahead and place the feet flat. Bring the feet in between your hands. Bend the knees. Go ahead and place your hands right on top of the knees, supporting your roll up. Now, as you roll up, vertebrae of the spine against an invisible wall behind you. We come into Tadasana, so we bring our heels together, we bring our toes together. It's okay to roll through the toes a little bit. I want to flatten the toes, so imagine me pulling the toes towards me. Open the arms, and take a big exhale. We want to walk up to the front of your mat as we begin our sun salutation. Remember, we're going to warm up all the muscles of the body together and allow the breathing to flow. So we bring our feet together, toe, toe, heel, heel. We take a big inhale and exhale. We're going to breathe three times this time. Right? If you want to put your hands here to remember, it's a good idea. And exhale. Full breathing as we inhale and exhale. And now we begin. So we take a big inhale and stretch up into high mountain, just the thumbs touch. We exhale, we forward fold. And if you can, the nose touches the knees. Take a big inhale, hands on the shins, head and tailbone come up, monkey pose. Now the hands come down, left leg comes down the length of the mat into lunge. Really push through that left foot, externally rotating that inner thigh. Walk up to balance, push that left hip forward, right hip back into high lunge. Hands come around now, right foot is back into downward dog. Take that left foot forward now. Maybe really push through the right foot as you walk the hands up and balance. Sink downward, lift up. Right hip forward, left hip back. High lunge. Hands come down, both feet come back into downward dog. And simply now we're going to walk in, flattening those feet, stretching the hamstrings. Bring the feet together, toe, toe, heel, heel. Bending the knees now, reaching forward into chair, up into high mountain, and arms are down to dasana. Good. Come up to the front of your mat. We'll do that about three more times to warm up the body. So allow your body to flow. See if you can add the breathing. <laughs> feet are together. Take a big exhale. Two more breaths in that manner, right? And exhale. As we stay in Tadasana, bring our big toe, little toe, heel into the mat as we plant into the mat. We're going to reach the arms up now. And go ahead and interlock all fingers, releasing that index finger, crossing the thumbs, pushing those palms together. If you can, straighten out the arms. We're going to externally rotate those triceps and drop the shoulders down. 
keep planting the feet into the ground as we reach up towards the ceiling take a big inhale as you exhale we're pressing over to the right good come up towards the ceiling and over to the left so as you continue side to side crescent you release any negativity or any stress in this posture it's almost like painting the ceiling as you go side to side. So as you go over to the left, push the right foot into the mat. As you go over to the right, reach higher, and the left foot into the mat, and side to side. Lift the chin a little higher than on the shelf as you look up towards the sky. And then we're gonna meet in the center. From here, we're gonna extend those arms out Go ahead and roll the shoulders back so the back is flat. Externally rotate those triceps in our MU pose. Remember this is the strongest bird, the largest bird in the world, right? So we really wanna be strong, pulling that navel in as we reach forward, keeping the hips over the heels, pull that navel in, flexing at the hips, coming forward if you can. That stomach on the quadriceps, the chest on the knees, the hands either on the mat or behind the calves if you feel balance. And now lastly, the nose goes into the knees. Straighten the legs if you can, take a big inhale. And exhale. Now as you inhale, reach forward, pulling that navel into a flat bell, L, like an upside down L as you reach up into high mountain and the arms come down to dasana. We take a moment, we focus as we go on to our balanced postures. Take a big exhale. Let's go ahead and take the right foot over so our feet are like an 11. Most of us, when we stand, our toes kind of go outward, so we really want to fight to bring our feet into the 11. Because in this posture, we want to strengthen the muscles that surround and protect the knees, the hips, and the ankles. So it's important that we're in an 11, even if it feels like this. Okay, we wanna reach up the arms in front of you. Lock in all fingers, right? So sew them up and keep the thumbs attached also. Go ahead and lock out the elbows, roll the shoulders back and flatten that back. Lift the chin up out of the shoulders. We take a big inhale. And as we exhale, we reach forward and sit back. Everybody roll your shoulders down, flatten your back, lift the tailbone out, and then lift that rib cage under. Come a little deeper. You want to at least try to get the hips in line with the knees. Now push into the mat, imprinting those feet, reaching forward to me, and come up to the tiptoes. If the ankles are wiggling, that's okay. We will become strong. Focus in that point in front of you and the knees come forward. Make sure the toes are flat. Shoulders and hips remain on that invisible wall. Come down as far as you can, and now we're gonna lift the kneecaps to the ceiling, really using those calves. Balance and push into the mat and come up to dasana. Each time we want this posture to do a simple tree pose, focus balance. So we start to bring our breathing into our postures even more. Okay. So I want you to focus in that focal point before, in front of you and shift the weight into that left foot. From here, lift up your arms, find your own tree. Go ahead and lift up the foot, find your own tree. As soon as you find that stable position, I want you to begin your breathing. Exhale, pull that navel in. We want five full breaths here. No matter what happens around you, focus on your tree, focus on yourself and your balance. Go back to your breathing. Slow breathing, full breathing across the chest. After that long last breath, bring the feet down to Tadasana. 
I'm going to roll the shoulders back. And let's focus on the other side. So go ahead and shift the weight now to the right foot. So this is the stronger side. So find your tree. Whether your tree is here, 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 or here, find the place where you can focus. As you continue with those five breaths, even if you sway a little bit, that's okay. Trees sway. And after that long breath, bring your hands back down to Tadasana. I'm just going to take a nose dive forward onto all fours. Curl those toes under and flatten that back just for two breaths. Remember, each breath longer than the preceding. Try to release the feet and bring yourself around facing front in our seated child's pose. And wrap the arms around, comfortably dropping the shoulders in this posture. Our big toes about six inches apart. We want to push our flat lower back forward as we drop the shoulders. Tall through the top of the head. So you want five full breaths here. Let's take that full exhale. We're going to walk the feet up slightly to the front of the mat. And go ahead. We're going to roll down vertebrae at a time. You can either support yourself holding in the back of those thighs or put your elbows down onto the mat. Try to lengthen each vertebrae. Rolling down like a bead of pearls. Lengthen that back, pulling tall through the top of the head. And from this position, we're going to bring the knees into the chest. Wrap the arms around, either holding on to the forearms or the elbows. Feet should be next to each other, toe, toe, heel, heel. And now we want to curl that tailbone inward, pulling it towards your navel. And now lengthen that tailbone out, lengthening the spine. As you exhale, let's do that again. Curl the tailbone inward. And then exhale, lengthen that tailbone out. As we rock side to side, I want you to play back and forth with that tailbone, pulling it down, lengthening. As we begin to breathe, we want five breaths here, breathing in and out, rocking side to side, lengthening that tailbone. By that fifth breath, it's the longest and deepest breath. Let's come to the center, lengthen that tailbone, bring the feet gently to the mat, knees are towards the ceiling. I'm going to reach the fingertips upward, rolling the shoulders down into the mat, turn the palms outward, and the hands go directly across from the shoulders. In this position, we take a big inhale and push those shoulder blades more into the mat and exhale. And now as you inhale, we're going to bring both knees over to the left, keeping the shoulders into the mat. upward towards the ceiling and we want five slow breaths here and taking that last long exhale as we inhale the knees come up to the ceiling 
taking both knees over to the right. It's okay to extend the feet and legs outward more to be a little more comfortable in that hip. Keeping both shoulders into the mat, we begin our five breaths. Each breath longer and deeper. Take that long last exhale. We need to bring our knees up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and extend that tailbone downward towards your toes. Bring your hands around on the back of the thighs. And we look up at the navel and slowly rolling up. And you can assist yourself with your hands as you come up back to that seated child's pose. Only two breaths here as we lengthen the back. Take that last exhale. Go ahead and bring the knees around to the side and come around on all fours facing front. Gently placing your palms into the mat. Knees under the hips, top of the feet into the mat. Take a big exhale. Inhale deeply. And now as you exhale, pull up through that lower back, looking at the navel, tucking the tailbone under into cat. As you inhale, the navel comes down, the head and the tailbone come up into cow. We're going to continue doing this, incorporating your breathing. Exhale as you come up into cat. Inhale as you come into cow. We want you to continually focus on your breathing here. Don't let it reverse. Exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. We're going to do this for a full minute, about 18 to 20 breaths. Always going back to that breathing. As we meet in the center with that flat tabletop back, from your tabletop, I want you to pull that navel in so that these core muscles are supporting your position. We take a big exhale. As we inhale, extend out that left hand and that right leg, externally rotating the inner thigh towards the ceiling. A big inhale and stretch longer. As you exhale, we're gonna bring the knee into the elbow and extend out as you inhale. We're doing this five times. Exhale inward, extend out, keeping that tabletop, pulling that navel in. Exhale inward and extend out. Elbow to knee and extend out. And again, elbow to knee and extend out. Come back to all fours. And as you inhale, fill up across the chest. As you exhale, lift up slightly into a half cat position and come back down into that flat back, pulling the navel inward. As you inhale now, we're going to reach out that right arm, left leg, again, point that left toe and externally rotate that inner thigh, pulling that navel in. As you exhale, it's elbow to knee, crossing the midline, inhale and reach. And elbow to knee, inhale and reach. Elbow to knee, coming to your center, inhale and reach. That should be in line with your bicep as you extend. Then one more time, exhale and extend. Come back down to all fours. Now we're gonna take the block and put it under your chest. 
bring the knees out to the outside edges of your mat and your big toes together. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, we're going to push back into that child's pose, placing your chest in between your knees and your head onto that block. So as we relax the head onto the block, we're making space underneath that chest and that navel for breathing. We want 18 to 20 breaths here. As we breathe slower and longer, we want to hold this posture from one to two minutes. When we hold a posture over a minute, it's possible that healing begins. Restoration begins. So think of this as a restorative pose. And just allow your body to release and relax. Exhale. As we push ourselves up to all fours, we can bring our block aside. Curl those toes under. And you push through the feet. Take a big inhale. And as you do, push up into downward facing dog. Make sure the toes are open. There's a space in between each toe. As you stretch up, and we want five breaths here. Completely exhale. And now as you breathe, walk the feet in. Walk the hands back. Feet should be about three to six inches apart. We're going to bend the knees slightly. Go ahead and wrap onto those elbows, dropping the head in between the elbows. Knees slightly bent. In this inversion, you want five breaths. If your shoulders are open, you can bring the arms up overhead, interlock, and release in this manner. Let that neck release. As you take that last releasing breath, put it bend your knees, reach the arms up, body up towards the ceiling into high mountain. Let's bring the feet together, toe, toe, heel, heel, crossing the thumbs. As we bring the thumbs into our chest, we lift those elbows high, closing your eyes, in this Tadasana and focus in on your balance with your eyes shut. Just focus in on your center and balance for five breaths. Take that last releasing exhale. Release the muscles of your face. Reach up into high mountain. As we swan dive forward, go ahead and walk down onto all fours, curling those knees under in our seated child's pose. As we begin to let our breathing come back to a normal rhythm, but maintaining that deep breathing. And now gently releasing yourself into the mat. Put your elbows down, vertebrae at a time. Your spine loves this as you lengthen down. It's okay to support yourself on your elbows as you lengthen down, vertebrae at a time, placing the head onto the mat. Extending the feet outward, palms to the ceiling, closing your eyes in your final savasana. In our final savasana, this is where you appreciate yourself for your practice today and dedicating your time to your practice. We realize that it's never really about the body, it's about the mind. We can 
can change our minds, we can change our bodies. So now focus in if there's any tightness anywhere within your body, allow yourself to release that tightness as you work down to your feet, releasing all parts of your body into the earth, feeling lightness, clarity, restoration. And now we begin to wiggle our fingers and wiggle our toes, waking up those nerve endings. And now the head goes over to the left and over to the right, noticing the ease and easement of being able to move the head right to left. Go ahead and stretch those arms overhead. Take a big inhale. Stretch through that spine. Breathe through that spine. Bring your knees into your chest. Rocking side to side. Massaging that spine. Go ahead and bring your left arm overhead. And rock over to the left. Stacking your knees ankles, hips, and shoulders. You can extend the legs out if you need to. I want you to notice in this posture with your ear resting in that bicep that your spine is completely released. Go ahead and lengthen that right leg outward and push into the mat, coming up safely. You've done a great job of Relaxing your spine. You never know how the spine is rested. So we want to get up safely. Reach the arms up into high mountain, crossing the thumbs. And as we bring those thumbs into our chest, we wish each other namaste. 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 We should practice, guys. Feel good? Yeah. So, we should feel good as we're easing into the new year and our new practice. So next week we're going to move on a little bit. It won't be that difficult. Your body won't be ready for it, I promise. Okay? So if you're going to practice your breathing at home, a good idea is to do it right before you go to sleep. So if you lay down and allow that belly to come in and out and do your belly breathing, you're telling your body you're already rested. So oftentimes I think I get three breaths and I'm sleeping. Okay, have a good afternoon.